So I've been mining Dogecoin for about a week now. So in this video, we're going to talk about why I'm mining Doge. <laughs> then we're going to talk about my Doge mining rig. And then I'm going to show you how much money I'm making mining the Doge. <laughs> it's been about a week now. So I've got some preliminary numbers in. But before we get to the numbers, let's just say, why in the heck would you want to mine Doge? Dude. Doge is growing in popularity. Have you seen these stories recently? Do you see what AMC is doing? So recently, AMC announced that they were going to start taking cryptocurrency, you know, for the movie theater stuff. But now, you know, the head ape, you know, the silverback, <laughs> Adam Aaron, he came out and said that, you know, basically, you know, if the, if the apes want to pay for movies using Dogecoin, man, we got to let them pay with Dogecoin. So they're going to do it, man. And you know what? Because they owe it to the apes that pretty much saved AMC. Adam Aaron knows it. And, dude, I think it's a good move. And it's also, man, Doge is getting more and more accepted, right? It's not just, you know, the basketball thing and all that. So now we've got AMC and, check this out. Do you hear the story about Robin Hood? So Robin Hood, one of my biggest beefs with Robin Hood with crypto is... It's really not like keeping the coins, right? You can't transfer the tokens. Well, now they're going to be opening up the crypto wallet. So the idea is you're going to be able to exchange your crypto with Robinhood. So I'm thinking what they're going to do is they're going to have these wallets. You're going to be able to just buy stuff with your crypto, which is the idea of Dogecoin, right? It's the community. This is the people's crypto. We want to be able to use it. So me, man, I'm contributing to it. I'm going to help with mining the crypto and keep it going. And I'm going to make a little bit of profit along the way, I admit it. So I am a doge to a dollar guy, even though I think it's going to hit a dollar. But you know what? I'm all in on the community and I'm part of it. And I got my doge miner going. So now before I tell you how much I'm making, let me show you what it is that I've got running, right? So I am running what's called the uh, Gold Shell Mini Doge. Now, I think this is a pretty good doge miner to get into, you know, like, let's put it this way. Dude, you want to go out and buy a Bitcoin miner, you know, big noisy machine that sucks a ton of energy and all that. Dude, you know, more power to you. That's awesome, dude. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not throwing any shade on that. But for me, I wasn't really sure I wanted to throw this thing on, you know, one of these big noisy miners on my, in my room, number one. And then I didn't know if I wanted to you know, be sucking all this power and all that. So, you know, baby steps for me, baby steps. So I found the mini doge. So the mini doge is pretty cool, man. So the mini doge is a very small machine. I've got it. I don't even know if you can even hear it running. It's, I got it going back here. I'll show it. I'm going to show you mine in a second, but here it is. It's, it's the gold shell mini doge. This thing has a 185 mega hash per second. Now the mega hash rate, you know, you're going to find that that's kind of, that's kind of the speed in which you can do the transactions and all that. So that's going to base be based on how much, you know, you're going to the payoff that you're going to get because it's going to be, you know, it's the transaction speed essentially. Now the mini doge, it is actually what's called an ASIC miner, which is a uh, application specific integrated circuit, which to you and me means you can't put games in and play it. Basically, it's just plug and play, right? So it's already programmed to do what it's supposed to do. You just go in there, put it on your network, and you know, I'll show you in a second, but real easy to get it up and going. So this thing is made to mine Doge. But actually, this one is made to mine Litecoin. Dude, these things first came out from mining Litecoin, right? And the idea was you mine Litecoin, but since Doge is on the same script, essentially, uh, you can also just get some Doge as well. So it used to be basically this, this little throwaway extra, right? That you could use to whatever, you just got it and whatever. That was just a, an extra thing. But now they're actually making more money mining Doge than they are Litecoin. But check it out. Here's sort of the, some of the specs on it. You can see, um, so hash rate, we already said 185 mega hash per second. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to the numbers. I'm gonna show you what that really means. Um, and then the, the power, the thing is, this thing is not very, uh, it's not sucking the electricity dry, you know? It's just, just a small little device with a little circuit board in it and, you know, fan and all that. So this thing, 200 and, 230 watts, let's say, 233 plus or minus 5%. So it's not real powerful, right? This is a small thing. So you can just keep this thing running. But check this out. So noise level less than 35 uh, decibels. 
So I can tell you, I can kind of hear it in the background here. I've got it here in my studio because when I set it up, I thought, you know what? I might have some problems with this thing and I don't want to be going back to the other room, plug it in, turn it off, unplug it, plug it back in, all that stuff, come all the way back to the computer and all that stuff. So I just got it sitting right here for right now. Uh, now it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I can kind of hear it. It's kind of clicking in the background and all that. Uh, but it's not that noisy. So, you know, like I said, I've got it running. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I got it running back there. So it's not very noisy at all. It's not a big deal. Basically it sounds like a computer. So that's sort of the specs, but let me show you my actual miner so you can check it out. So this is my actual mini doge. Uh, you can see this is the, basically the unit and then there's the power supply. Uh, so you can see it's pretty simple. Basically it's a power cord and an ethernet cord. So you plug it into the network uh, and you just uh, start mining the doge. So you can see how big it is. You can kind of see the size of you know, my hand compared to it. Um, it's not real big, it's pretty small. Uh, so it's got two little fans running. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, that's, the, that's the mini doge. I've kind of got it on a just a little, whatever, a chamois thing or whatever, a little uh, microfiber towel just so my fancy desk doesn't get scratched up. I'm going to be moving it back in my server room, but for now, I just have it here. Like I said, just in case there was a problem, I could kind of run out and fix it. But you can see there's really not much to it. Uh, just a couple plugs, just a little slot here, like a, I don't know, probably a SD card or something for loading a firmware or whatever. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So that's my current doge mining rig, right? But I tell you, I've got some upgrades coming too. So I'm going to tell you about those in a second too. But so the idea is again, so I've joined a pool, right? A mining pool and my, you know, my rig is, you know, mining doge in the pool. So what I did is I joined F2 pool. Now there's a bunch of different pools you can, you know, join, but for this one, it just seemed like this was just the easiest and I don't need to reinvent the wheel on my first mining rig, right? So I just joined F2 pool. So the idea is I'm mining on F2 pool and then F2 pool will, you know, I'll, I'll get my money or my crypto from F2 pool and then they'll send it to my wallet address. So here's my account, right? So here you can see, um, it gives me daily readouts of how the mining is going. So this, you can see the top here are my Litecoin revenue records, right? And then the bottom, I've got my Dogecoin because again, this thing is mining two different things right away, right? So it's mining two different things. So just taking a look at the Litecoin, you can see that first day you can see it's kind of low. And that's because I did get this thing hooked up and run until the afternoon. And I can tell you, it took me about 30 minutes to get this thing up and running. It was pretty easy. Basically, I just went in, found the IP address. Um, so I was able to just log right into the miner, you know, just using default things. And then I go in there and I just put in my login information for my, for my F2 pool. I just put it in the miner and it just was up and running. Probably... I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, and that was including signing up for F2 pool. So it was pretty fast. It was pretty fast. So you can see it's been mining pretty good. So, you know, that's that's why it was really low. Then it was about 0.04, you know, thereabouts. Um, the very last day, it kind of dropped off a little bit. Um, and you'll see that in my doge numbers also. And that's because it fell off the network or something. So you know, it wasn't mining. <laughs> so I had to get it back on, which wasn't a big deal. So you can see with the doge, what I'm getting is... You know, again, the first day, you know, I made my first doge on that first day. That was, that was a big deal for me. So anyway, I made my first doge and then it's kind of ramping up. It's running about seven and a half doge a day thereabouts. Uh, and again, you can see that five point, you know, 5.87. That was the day that it, it fell off the network. You know, I caught it early, so I got it back on. So, you know, so we're good. So not a big deal. So I'm mining the pool. And then when it gets to a certain value, it goes off to my wallet. Now for Litecoin, what I'm using for my wallet there is I'm actually using Voyager. Now Voyager, I don't know if you've seen my channel before, I actually really like Voyager and then it pays, man, it pays really good interest rates on crypto. I'm getting 5% interest on Litecoin. Now, you know, things like uh, USDC coin, USD, US dollar coin, they give you 9% interest. So if you're interested in Voyager, I can tell you, I'll put a link um, down below. And I think if you sign up, I think you get like 25 bucks worth of Bitcoin once you, you know, put some money in the account and, you know, buy something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, for the Dogecoin, my, I plan on sending it to my Robinhood wallet um, and using that because I think Robinhood is really going to build it out. And I think Doge would be fun to put over at Robinhood. Um, so that's the plan. Right now, I've got to go into a different account, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But you can switch that stuff around, of course. Just a wallet address, right? So here's how much I'm making. But actually, before we do that, let me ask you one thing. And that is, 
If you think you got any value or any entertainment out of this video, I would just simply ask you to give me a like. Man, your likes really help me a lot. Um, they, for small channels like mine, man, likes are everything. So if you could give me a like, dude, that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, so let's talk numbers, right? So for uh, Litecoin, you're going to see the difference between Litecoin and Dogecoin. So Litecoin, let's work this out real quick. So we're making about 0. Or 0 0.004 Litecoin a day, right? Which isn't a whole lot, right? So we figure 0 0.004, multiply that times seven days, you know, seven days in a week, uh, 0.028. So let's just say 0.03 because you have too many decibels and all that. So let's just say 0.03. Now, of course, you know, the idea is, um, you know, I'm probably not going to sell this when it's its cheapest, you know. Um, I'm going to hold it a little bit, you know, let it go up, right? But just looking at kind of where it is now, Litecoin is right around 165 of the making of this video. So for me, I'm making about five bucks a week on Litecoin, which isn't a whole lot, right? Not a whole lot. Um, but the thing is, if it goes up a little bit, 180, you know, I can push it up to, I don't know, 550 or so, right? So still not huge, right? Uh, but check out the Doge numbers. They're actually not, you know, not that bad for this little thing. So Doge, you can see, so you figure we're at, um, we figure we're at like seven and a half Doge a day, right? So seven and a half doge a day times seven days a week. So 52.5. So let's just say for numbers purposes, let's just say 50 doge a week. All right. So 50 doge a week. Um, you know, of course, price fluctuates a lot on doge. But let's just say 25 cents, right? So this is going to be our low end. So 50 times 25 cents equals 12.50. So on our low days, our bad mining days, you figure we're probably going to be at... Uh, Five dollars Litecoin, twelve fifty uh, Doge for the week, right? So seventeen fifty, not that big, right? But check this out: if Doge just goes up a little bit, I mean, I'm not saying Doge to a dollar, although, <laughs> dude, that would be awesome. Um, if it just went up like thirty five cents, right? Which I don't think that's crazy, right? Thirty five cents. So if we could get Doge up to thirty five cents, uh, that would bring our Doge mining up to about seventeen fifty a week. Which again, once you add your Litecoin on there. Now, you know, if you're up, let's say 550, 1750, so now you're up, let's just 20, 22, let's just say 23 bucks or so, right? So all of a sudden it's not too bad, not too bad. Not huge, right? But not huge, but not too bad. So let's just work this out for the year, right? So in our low case, let's say, you know, we're making 1750 a week. So 1750 times 56, 980 bucks. So just thousand bucks, let's say. On our little higher end, which is still pretty conservative, where we're making, let's say, 23 bucks a week uh, times 56. Okay, now we're at 12.88. Okay, so that's a little better, better, better. But the thing is, check this out. So, you know, a couple things. Number one, I had to buy the machine, right? And so that's why you want to think about if you are buying these things, about how much you're getting them for. But I think the sort of the rule of thumb is you want to try to get this thing paid off in a year of mining, right? And I think at that point, because the thing is, after that, you know, it's just it's just gravy, right? Other than, you know, what the, it is for the electric. So, you know, you are going to pay a little bit on the electric, but these things are really low power. So I don't think that's going to be, be a real big deal. But check this out and listen to this. So here's what I'm doing, right? So I mean, these numbers, I mean, it's something, right? But it's not huge. But that's one, right? That's only one machine. So what I'm going to do is, dude, I'm going to get more of them. Because even though this isn't a whole lot per machine, I mean, the machines really, at the end of the day, they're not that, that expensive, right? You know, not if you're a rich guy like me, <laughs> right? So I'm going to get a couple more machines. I'm going to try to get this thing. I'm going to try to get four of them going, I think. So then, you know, if I'm, let's say, 1000 bucks a year off one, I'm all of a sudden, now I'm at 4000 bucks a year. Which, if I can get this thing running, right, you know, get it going... Uh, as long as these machines don't, you know, poop out on me, you know, as long as they last, uh, then all of a sudden I'll be getting four grand a year, right? That's the low end numbers. But again, okay, let's take the one where we said what, 1288? 1288 times four. Now all of a sudden I'm over five grand. So now all of a sudden, you know, over five grand, you know, and now we're talking, right? So even though these things aren't real powerful, you know, it's, it's a numbers thing. And I see that a lot of people that run these things, they're running more than one right and the thing is they've got there's such low power you could run you know probably eight of these things or so off one outlet you know you have to, have to double check it all but you know i don't think 
they're not that high power. So you can really get a good return after them. But the thing is, I don't know how long these things are gonna last. So I'll tell you what, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep track of my Doge Miner on the channel. And we can check in from time to time to see how it's doing. And you know, checking the numbers, see how we're doing. And with that, I tell you what, I've got some more videos you might wanna check out, including my, my first Doge Miner video. Uh, so I'll put up a couple more videos up here. And I'll tell you what, I will see you in those or in the next video.